Come how I want to come, yeah. and I'm going to present myself how I am. That's it. Because, like Dion Kippen said, <laughs> I don't look like what I've been through, man. <laughs> I swear to you. Uh, I just want to thank you, Lex, for having me come out here today. And my lovely wife that I got over there. Um, this is Kid. She played a great part in, my, in, in, in our journey because we do this together, you know? We a team, like, it's really 50-50, you know? And um, she got a lot to do with my success today, right now. And, and I just want to let you know my love. I want to trade you in for nothing. Very tall. So anyway, just to give you a little of my background, um, I have five kids. My two oldest kids are 29, and I got three younger kids. Um, <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> so yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I got five kids and um, I got on this journey from, from, from a, a, you know, what they say, bad situations to make good things come out. Like, I'm, I'm like that diamond that was covered up that you didn't see. And now I'm here and I'm doing excellent and I'm so happy to be here selling you or all of you in here that you could be doing the same thing. You know, I went to I went to the feds. I was in the federal prison. I did ten years. I went in for, from from nineteen all the way up to I was thirty. And I'm here now today, and I'm doing excellent. And like I said, a lot of my success got to do with my life. You know, I was doing well in the streets. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was doing very well. You know what I'm saying? That part. And I could have came out here and did very well again, but I knew what it was gonna lead me to. So I made a promise to my kids when I came home, I was gonna change. So when I was in there, I played no games. I, st I stayed in my books. I learned, and believe it or not, when I went to jail, I couldn't read or write. I just had a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? And everybody carried out all my tasks for me. It's like, anybody know the story about Henry Ford? Well, anyway, Henry Ford, you know, he started the Ford dealership and he couldn't read either but he had a lot of common sense. And that's what I had. I put everybody in position to do everything I needed them to do for me, and they didn't have a clue. But I was very good at one thing. I was really good at math. So nobody could get over on me when it came to my money. You know, even though I ain't got no more control of it now, because I got my wife here, but anyway, man, to get into the next journey of my life, like I'm here now, 10 years later, I'm doing excellent. Me and my wife own, I don't even know, dozens of properties. And um, I met Lex, because I moved here two and a half years ago. And I, I just, I told my wife, I said, let's get out of here. You know, I'm, I'm from Connecticut. I had nightclubs, out there, restaurants, everything. And just like so many people knew me and I just started to get nervous. And I just felt that God was gonna take me if I leave. So I said, you know what, babe? Go to Florida, find somewhere for us to live. Don't come back until you find something. 
came back found something. I said, all right, call my guy up 30 days later, I was gone. Everybody like, you leaving all of this stuff? I'm like, I can't do nothing with it if I ain't here. So yeah, I packed up, I left, I came out here and I met Lex. Lex and Ben. Who did I, did I meet you first or? All right, so I met Lex first and we started vibing or whatever. And then um, she, I'm telling her, I'm like, yo, listen, I want to get into real estate out here. Let me know whatever you got, I'm buying. So she called me, she's like, I got an acre of land. I said, how much? She told me the price, I said, I want it. She bounces more stuff, I bought it. She seen that I was serious. You know, cause you know, you, when, when you walk in a room, people, they really judge you, you know? You get judged from your appearance. But me, um, personally, like, I'm, I'm super smart. <laughs> now, oh yeah, I can read too. And I'm like, <laughs> I can read that. You know what I'm saying? I'm super smart. And I finally did take my GED in jail. I was the number one in the class. You know what I'm saying? So what happened was I just was ahead of my time and I wanted more, so I just, I, I really didn't apply myself to school. But jail did the best thing for me. Those 10 years changed my life. I wouldn't be here if I didn't, if I didn't go to jail, you know? I probably would be dead, you know, or, or, or in a worse situation. But, and all right, let me ask y'all something. How many of y'all in here are employees? How many of y'all uh, uh, have jobs? Okay, so all of y'all have jobs. How many of y'all into real estate right now? Okay. All of everybody into real estate. How many of y'all have your own personal home? Yeah. All right. So, all right, so, all right. Cool. So I buy in the press markets. I go where people scared to go. I'm still me, you know, and I know how to interact and deal with those tenants and build relationships with them. So I buy in Cleveland, Ohio, where it's really rough, but the numbers are excellent. I'm the type of person that I said, like, I'm, I'm, I'm in, the, in the math. So your ROI, which is your return on your investment, means a lot. So if I could buy something like this lady just presented to me earlier for 20,000, and she told me the numbers with the math, I told her, I said, buy it for 20,000, I'm gonna buy it back for 40. Because I know I'm gonna have my money back in a couple years. You know, so what I do is I go to the hoods, I do all of the numbers. My wife, she does all the critical work. I'm on the floor, I'm on the planes, 10 times out the month. Like they know me, you know? And it, it feels good to be in that position. But um, like I said, I started I started buying in Connecticut and I migrated here. My wife, she had A1 credit. I just had money, you know? So anything I couldn't do, I had her do it. You know what I'm saying? And we was, we was buying like that and then I got away from that. So let me ask somebody something. Um, who, who said they own a house in here? So uh, this your personal house or investment property? All right, who has an investment property in here? You? What is it? Two family, one family? I have a duplex, two townhouses. Where? Where is it? Ebor. Ebor? Mm -hmm. Oh, you lit. How much you pay for that thing? Give me a roundabout number. About 600. 600 K? How much you put down on that? 75. You put 75 on 600 K? That was your first investment property? One that I used as a, a personal um, property. So only had to do 3.5. Right, right. So anyway, you did really good with that. Thank you. <laughs> you did really good with that. So a property normally for 600 k you got to put 20 percent down. So that's 120 thousand, right? Mm -hmm. Me personally, I'm in Cleveland. I could buy I could buy a four family for 60 thousand. Mm -hmm. So I could get two four families for 60 thousand, right? Which gives me eight doors. I got eight doors now, right? I only paid 60,000 for this house, right? Cash, I got my title, I got my deed. I'm collecting, let's just round it off, thousand dollars a month. So I'm getting 8,000 back now. Anybody can tell me what eight times 12 is? Huh? I ain't getting 96. 96. So I'm getting 8,000 times 12 for the year. I made back $96,000, right? On a, on, on, on a $16,000 one unit, I mean four unit, and then I got another one for 60, that's 120. Am I over 70, 50% of my money back in one year? Yes, I am. And that's my formula. I find them cheap, I get in there, 
do my leg work. I only buy stuff that need lipstick and paint. Like, I'm going to be lipstick and makeup. That's it. I'm not going in there doing no. I'm not, I'm not putting water tanks in. I'm not putting furnaces in. I'm not doing none of that. Because I buy sight unseen. You know, so long as I know that this place has a tenant in there, and they, they only want 60000 for it, my return on my investment is going to be almost 80 90% in one year. I'm outperforming the stock market, the, the Roth, whatever, your 401k, anything you got in place. I already done made your money in one year and made all my money back. So now three months, four months later, guess what? I cashed out on that whole property, right? I got all my money back. I own that property free and clear. When you retire at 65 and I retire at 65, you're gonna get about 150K. That same property that I bought for 60K a piece is gonna be worth over 300,000. Right or wrong? Right. I outperformed even the employees. Again, right? It's all numbers, it's all math. These are my strategies. I stick to my system. I don't do what nobody else do. I know Grant Cardone, my wife know Elena Cardone, they be on the phone together. He tell you, listen, man, just put a million dollars up, you're gonna get a five million dollar house now. I don't do that. I do me. You know what I'm saying? My system works. And just because you look better on paper don't mean that you're making more money than me. You understand where I'm coming from? Because that same six hundred thousand dollar property you bought and you paid seventy five, you put seventy five thousand down. How much you owe on that just now? Five hundred and twenty five thousand. Right? And, and, and what's your monthly? What you making monthly on that thing? Um, about. Huh? Five thousand. You make about five thousand. So on a six hundred thousand dollar property, you're paying about thirty five hundred, right? Four thousand. For both, yeah, about three. So you left with a thousand dollars after you do all of that, right? I'm sitting for eight thousand dollars every month, and I only put up a buck twenty. I think you need to come get with me. I need to. Let's cash that out. That's why I'm here. <laughs> you did? Let's cash that out. Matter of fact, that's what we're going to do because the market doing so well. We're going to do a cash out for your five or equity. You know what I'm saying? A lot of credit. We're going to pull that money. So Uncle Sam don't get no tax. You don't get hit for power of money, right? You don't pull all your profits out, love. That's what you do first. Then you throw that bad baby back on the market. Sell it. Walk away with all property. You come see me, the motivator. I'll show you how to make that thing do back flips. Woo! I you feel me? <laughs>